We're going to Buttonwood Campground. And we're going to Buttonwood Campground. We're going to Buttonwood Campground. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I will ever figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Welcome back to another campground tour. We are at Buttonwood Campground. Yep. In Miffel... Miffleton. Mifflin... Mi Car. Mifflinton. Okay. Car. We are, in, we are at Buttonwood Campground in Mifflinton, PA. So when you first come in, this is golf cart rental. So the stores, when you first come in to your left, and over the weekend, this guy was open and he makes after you leave the store and the office, come up this way. To your right is this winery. It's a little tiny winery shop. So one of the, well, seems to be the most popular thing is their wine slushies. Um, here you can go, you can see the prices. So it's $18 for like one of the refillable mugs. And then it's about, well, it was $10 to refill them. Here's their list, and here's their hours. So as of right now, they're only open three days a week. I'm sure as it gets in the season, they'll be open more oh, yeah. than three days a week. Sure. Right after the winery, you have the pool. It's a normal sized pool. Um, there's people in it right now, so we don't want to film it. But yeah. uh, it doesn't go deep. It's got three entrances and it's three foot at the two ends and then the middle goes to four and a half feet. There is a jumping pillow for the kiddos. Oh, we didn't do pictures in front of this. Can you see us? Yeah. They have pedal carts over here. This is called Water Wars. Looks like there's Target and holes that like hit them in. It's, it's turned off. They must only do it during hours because it's zip tied right now. Yeah. Ouch! And you put it in the thing and it pulls it down yeah. and shoots it at each other. Oh, this is also, not only is it pedal carts, but it's also the laser tag. So here's like your main entrance. If you go right, these are seasonal spots, which are pretty awesome. how long these people stay for. Yeah, so they've been here for a while, or they've at least owned this site for a while. This one too. Yep. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you live in your camper? We do not. You don't. And, but you're on a seasonal site? Yes. So, so you just leave it here and come whenever you want? Mm -hmm. Nice. So how long do you leave it? Uh, it's been here for five years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, it's awesome. We roll in on Friday night. And it's when our... you don't have to tow it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like it. Yeah, Buttonwood nice. lets us keep it here year-round. They don't charge us anything for the 
That's great. But can you still come? No. Uh, okay. October 31st is when you're done. Um, then usually around April 15th, whatever that weekend is. That's great. Close to. Yeah, awesome. No, it's, it's, and Sundays roll around and you can stay as late as you want. <laughs> Everybody else is packing up and you're like, suckers. See so you later, suckers. Is it ju it's just a monthly fee? Uh, technically, yeah. You pay, I think ours was 30, no, 2700 this year. For the whole for the whole season. Yeah. Or, well, whole year because you leave it. Yeah, my husband knows the math. There's a certain amount of weekends you have to come before it doesn't make sense to have a seasonal. Sure. Um, but for us, it, like the logistics of having to take time off of work. Yeah. It is more worth it to pay even if we don't even if we didn't make it up that many weekends because we don't have to take days off of work. To, yeah. I mean you have to have three day three day weekend here now so take off Friday, so there's overtime laws. Right, right. How many weekends do we have to be here for it to equal out to? 20, about 21, 22 weekends. That's great. Yeah. That's nice. I like it, thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. What's over here? So Is they do, dead end? yeah, so they do have a few cabins. Yes, uh, we'll pass them in I a minute. I think there's only four cabins on site. I want to say it's four cabins. And then we come up. There are a ton of spots in this place. Th that's a nice seasonal spot. Not this one. This weekend, it was packed. The weekend before Memorial Day. We got here on Thursday, um, and today's Sunday, and a lot of a lot of people left. But I'm telling you, by Friday, there were no sites available. Nah, not a single site available. It was pretty crazy. So here's some cabins over here, just some little ones. There are bigger ones on the other side, which we'll pass in a minute. But just some little cabins right there. These ones are awesome. They are huge pull throughs. I mean, look how long that is. Your fifth Same on wheel both sides. Yeah. These are in the 130s and the 150s. Yeah, so the center section's in the 50s and the 60s, and this is 130s on your right. Awesome pull throughs. Pull throughs. And then here's one cabin. I'll buy it some. I think some of these ones are seasonal too. They have them spread out throughout the whole yeah, park. Yeah, these have decks. Yeah, and they're they have their tires covered and everything. Yeah, so more seasonals. Well, these aren't seasonals, are they? I think they are. Oh, they are. Yeah, he's got them all. I mean, this guy's got tons of canoes. Look how big that camper is. gated deck like that's awesome and the back their dogs loving that so right up here is a fishing pond well it said fishing pond on the map it's very dusty so just be prepared for the dust I love this little setup I just think that's so cute so we're coming up on some more cabins. It's, they only have a couple, but look how pretty this is. Like it's beautiful. Okay, so here are some cabins. There's one on this side and two over here. These are bigger. And then you have more sites over here. It looks like a lot of their sites could be pull through. Pull through or back in, I guess. Yeah. But, but a lot of them have two roads on each side, so. So you can cut down this golf cart track, or road, I don't know what you call it. And this is 
the Gaga ball pit. And then you have a whole bunch of horseshoes. Oh, I guess not a whole bunch, it's four. Oh, there's four sets. Four sets of horseshoes to be played. And on this side is a playground for the kiddos. <laughs> there's a cute gazebo here if you wanted to pack a lunch and have a lunch under there, I guess. Little wagon. They do hay rides sometimes because this weekend was kids' weekend and they did a hay ride. Look at that big house. So this is where we came in. And we went that way and showed you the seasonals. Right here is the a bathhouse up here. They have great picture opp opportunities. Alright, be happy, long camera again. <laughs> put away your tiredness and put a smile on that face. Did she do a smarty pants smile? No, no smile at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's this side of the campground. And now we're going to go show you where we are. We weren't on this side. So leaving, it is magnetic. But coming in, you need to have a passcode to get in or a worker in front of you putting in a passcode. So Monday through Wednesday, and then Saturday and Sunday, you can use this as golf cart parking. But only the staff is there on Thursday and Friday. You can't park there on Thursday and Friday. So this morning I woke up early and I brought the dogs over to the dog park. Here's the basketball court over here too. We're right behind the jumping pillow. So there's a little basketball court and there's the dog park. So they have it split off into two. One's a little bit bigger than the other side. Nothing special in it. So we rented a golf cart again. Uh, right now it's $50 a day. And it's from one o'clock in the afternoon to one o'clock in the afternoon the next day. Our bands. Oh yeah, bands. Our wristbands. So in order to do uh, mini golf, you can pay separately for every activity. Or you can do a band while you're here. Stop looking at And it was um, unlimited mini golf, laser tag, tubing. Pedal carts. Which we didn't get the tube, it's not open yet. Pedal carts. And the pillow. And the jumping pillow. Um, normally, for the, our weekend, it was $15. Normally, it's 30 during the prime season. It's 30 hours a band? I'm pretty sure during prime season, which starts next weekend, Memorial Day, it's $30 a band. So you might want to look into that. The pool was free. The pool is free. You can, again, if you're only going to play one game of mini golf, I think they told me it was $5 a game. So pick and choose how you want to do that because the pool's free. When you get here, you're going to pull in up by the office to check in. They'll then take you through that gate that we went through and we had to loop around. And then they brought us across the street. So basically it depends on if you're on the play side or if you're on the river side. So on the river side, if you're coming in the way we did, we had to turn right to get in to check in. But then you actually come back across the street and then on the left side. So an actual street divides the, the campground in half. And then you have another gate you'll have to go through. Oh, this is also like their... Oh yeah, this is their red hall. Rec hall. So we did some kids activities this weekend and this is where we came for it, to the rec hall. So for this weekend the kids activities were? Uh, they did crafts which was painting a rock. Then they did kids games which we didn't come to, we were in the pool. And then they did candy bingo which we went to and then we did or they did a hayride. We didn't do that either and they did laser tag but we didn't do that either. So when you come down and around, there are more seasonal sites down here uh, when you first come around. So up to a certain point, these are seasonal. So now, these back end sites are actually back right up to the river. The river. Oh, there's another bathhouse right here. Oh, and you know what's great? You put your trash out, they pick it up. I love it when campgrounds do that. They were constantly driving around picking up trash. The workers are constantly driving yeah. around. 
this end site is actually pretty cool because you back into the middle here and then the playground, I mean, it's a tiny playground, but it's right behind you. So this is a small playground on the riverside. Yeah. But that's a really cool site. You just back in and you're like right here. Both sides of you is nice grass. Okay, so down here is... Snake River. Yeah. And snake. Look at the dolphin. So all along here is tent sites, which man, I hope you brought an air mattress because that does not look comfy. It surprises me these are tent sites. So they do have a little boat ramp, right? So this is also where they pick you up when you're tubing. So starting next weekend? Tubing starts next weekend. Yeah, starting next weekend. Um, you stop here, this is the end point. You come up up that little mini boat ramp and then you actually go back to where we pulled in on the river side, right before the uh, the rec hall. Yep. And then that's where they pick you back up and take you back up river in their, uh, I'm, well, I'm not I'm sure. I'm assuming it's those big yellow buses yeah, that we, were over we, by the we don't, we're not We're not sure what they pick you up in. But if you have a wristband, it's unlimited. So you can keep doing it. Here's actually one of the exits to get out. On our side, it's the only exit. That's how you get out. Oh, it is the side. only exit. Yeah. So on the river side, that is the only exit. So we're up at the top now. Uh, the river's down there. We're up top here. They have some tent camping sites right here. And these ones have so, electric. Well, Maybe you can fix now, sewer. So they have everything. They are full hookup. But, I mean, they are only 15 feet deep. So I'm sure if you had like pop-up, I want to say oh, we did see some pop-up campers pop here on this side. This is the back row of the riverside. It does go to 400. Yeah. So when you're leaving our side in a golf cart, you can come right up. Like there's our campsite right there. So we just shoot up this road and there's a tiny little golf cart trail right here. And that'll take you across the street. Yep. Oh no. That, um... So that building right there, that's where they'll pick you back up for the tubing. So there you have it guys, that is the tour 2021 of a... Uh... Buttonwood Campground. Yeah. It was a lot of fun and it's beautiful yeah. here. Yeah. Yep. Alright, see you later. Bye guys. We'll see you soon. See <laughs> you gotta get your hand on it all the way, do it again. Ready? Wait, wait. Sit, we'll say see you, see you soon and then do it. But you got to make sure your hand covers it all the way. All right. So we'll see you soon.